In this quick DVD Studio Pro tutorial, I want to talk to you about creating subtitle tracks for your film or documentary or any video that you're going to put on DVD with DVD Studio Pro. We want to make sure that we're under the Viewer tab of our clip, and we also want to make sure that we're able to see the track or the timeline. If we come down here and take a look, notice that we have S1 and S2 tracks. We actually have multiple subtitle tracks for different languages. Notice if we click and hold down, we can go in and choose different languages for our subtitle track. We'll go with English and we'll specify English on the DVD. If I come over here, what I would like to do is drag my playhead and cue it to the point where I would like my subtitle to start. Notice that we also have time code that we could type in and use. If you have a specific time code point that you've already indicated on your script where you would like to have subtitles appear on your DVD. It's very simple to now add a subtitle. All we need to do is double click down here in the empty space next to the playhead. Notice when I double click, it creates a subtitle uh, object here. If we now double click on the subtitle object, you'll notice that we have a cursor that is flashing here inside of the viewer. We've already typed some stuff out in text edit. I'm gonna hold down Apple and tab over to text edit. And I wanna copy some of our script. I'm going to hold down the Apple and press tab and go back to DVD Studio Pro. I'm going to double click on the subtitle object, make sure that my cursor is flashing. And now I'm going to hold down Apple and press V to paste our text or edit paste. Okay, great. So now what I want to do is click and hold down and I want to highlight all this text like so. Notice how it turns a light blue if we zoom in and take a closer look. That indicates that we can now right click on this and go choose the particular font that we would like to use for our subtitle. So I right clicked or control clicked on the text while it's highlighted blue. I'm going to go to font and I'm going to go to show fonts. And now under the show font window, notice that we have our font type and typeface and size. Choose a larger font. I like a size 24. I'm now going to move this over and click out of it. Now, if I want to uh, open up my subtitle block and choose the positioning of the text, whether I'd like the text to fade in and fade out, what I'm going to do is select the subtitle block. I'm going to click over here on my double arrows if I don't see the inspector, and let's open up the inspector while, once again, we have the subtitle block selected. So notice inside the subtitle uh, inspector box here, we can choose to fade in and fade out. We can force the display of a subtitle even if we don't turn on subtitles inside of the DVD player uh, menu that we're using. And we can also change the positioning. Notice that I can move the positioning of the subtitle. I can also offset the subtitle like so. And we can also, you know, like I said, we can fade it in, fade out. Here's where we can include the time code of the subtitle where we would like it to start. For example, if we wanted to start at a different location, you can see that it's actually queuing the video. So if I wanted to start at exactly 15 seconds, we could do that. Notice that I can choose the duration of my subtitle here. I think five seconds is long enough for that particular uh, subtitle there. And once I'm done, I can just close out of it. Now if I back up and I press the space bar to play, let's take a look and listen. Okay, well that subtitle didn't really match what was being said there, but you get the general idea. Alright, that's how you create subtitles inside of DVD Studio Pro.